Namaste, dear friends. We are all familiar with the fact that children love performing experiments and designing simple toys. They can be encouraged to do so by making use of available resources. The learning outcome we achieve by this is creativity in designing, planning and making use of available resources. Today, let's understand the properties of magnets by making our own intelligent doll. The following materials are required for the same. An old doll, a piece of magnet, materials like a plastic bottle, a, a piece of paper, a pair of scissors, pencil, a clip, pen, nails, etc. Take a doll and attach a piece of magnet in one of its hands like this. Conceal the magnet in such a way that it is not visible to the viewer and your intelligent doll is ready. One student can ask his friends to bring different objects near the doll's hand. Knowing the material of the object, the student can tell in advance whether the doll would attract or hold it or not. The property of magnets due to which they attract substances like iron, nickel and cobalt can be reiterated. The material which gets attracted towards the magnet are called magnetic materials and the materials which are made from wood, paper, or plastic which are not attracted towards the magnet are non-magnetic. In this way, students can classify and segregate magnetic and non-magnetic materials. The students can also add one more feature to their intelligent doll based on the property that like poles of a magnet repel each other and unlike poles of a magnet attract each other. Our intelligent doll can now shoo away a bug but accept a candy. Take a toy bug, a doll and two bar magnets. If the toy bug or doll is not available, students can be encouraged to make these out of cardboard or any other material available. Ask the students to think about how to fix the magnets on the doll and the bug to make them repel each other. Fix the magnets in the arm of the intelligent doll and in the bug in such a way that the like poles are always facing each other. Now conceal the magnets. As soon as the bug is brought near the doll, it gets repelled. The students can add more dimensions to it by using a toy candy and fixing a magnet in such a way that unlike poles, one in the arm of the doll and the other in the toy candy can face each other and force of attraction can be demonstrated. The learner now can conduct simple investigations to seek answers to queries and can also learn to classify materials as magnetic and non-magnetic. The other learning outcomes achieved can be that the learner conducts simple investigations to seek answers to queries and classifies materials as magnetic and non-magnetic. Thank you.